Hello my warriors, do you ever feel that you need to guess the answer because you have no clue on how to solve the question, you have no idea about the theory but you want to improve your score but the thing which is holding you back is that you have to guess from four options and not just that, you might also end up getting negative marks. What if I told you there is a very easy, simple trick to actually make a calculated guess in your GE or NEET or any such competitive multiple choice exam which will most likely give you very good score. Also, you will be able to guess and mark the answers within seconds, in fact much faster than having to actually sit and solve the questions. Crazy, right? But let me also warn you that these methods are by no means trying to discourage you from the hard work. Hard work is very important, paper solving is very important. These have to be used in extreme emergencies where you feel like, okay, I have no other way but to guess the answer, but you want to make a calculated guess. So smart work plus hard work is the best combination to score really high marks in your competitive exams. So let's go straight away to the trick one, which is check for the common values or phrases. The examiner will try to hide the answer in one of the common phrases or numbers between all the options. Try to see which is the most common number, phrase or value and your option which has the most number of common phrases, most likely that will be the correct answer. Let me demonstrate this to you by using four questions. Question 1, question 2, question 3, question 4. All these are previous year questions so that you know this actually works in your real examination. Okay, so let's start by marking and guessing. I'm not going to read the question, I'm not going to sit and solve, it's just looking at the options. Well, I can see 10 to the power 23 is common in two options. Okay, over here and here. 10 to the power 25 is also common in these two options. But I can also see 2.5 is common, only difference is the sign. So most likely the examiner wanted to trick you with the sign. Most likely many students might get 2.5, but they don't know what is the correct sign of this. So if I had to mark, I would mark either option C or option D. I don't know which one is correct. Let's move on to the next question number two. In this question, let's try to find out which are the most common phrases. I can see the word real here, here as well as here. I can also see this distance of 40 centimeters, 40 centimeters, 40 centimeters in these three options. Also, I can see convergent, convergent and here convergent in these three options. This option has two things in common. This has two things in common. This has two things in common. This has three things in common. So if I had to make a guess, I'll most likely choose option A. Oh, the good thing is I don't have to choose between two options most likely I'll mark option A without even having to solve it. We'll find out whether it is correct or wrong in a bit. Hold on. Now for this one, I can see 0 0.28, 0 0.28 and 0.28 common. I can also see number one common over here, number one common over here. I can also see 0 0.89 common over here and here. Also I see one more thing. The order of these numbers are just interchanged. So most likely the examiner is trying to trick you between these two options, between one of them. But I can see 0.28 is the most common. Most likely, I will go with this. And if I had to make a choice, maybe then I will choose C. But it will be one of these two. It will be one of these two for sure. Okay, great. Now let's go to the last question, question number four. So do I see some common numbers over here? Yes, 0 0.9, 0 0.9, 0 0.9. Fair enough. Uh, two. 2, yes, 2 centimeters is here as well as here. 1.5, 1.2 is different. 1 kg is there everywhere. So I can see this option B has the highest chance of being correct. So I'm just going to go with option B. Ready to see what is the correct answer? Okay, so for all the questions, let's have a look. The first question, look at this. Minus 2.5 is correct. Remember, we had made a choice between C and D. And look at this. Option A is correct over here in question 2. And in this option, okay, maybe it went wrong, no problem. But I had chosen between C and D. One of C and D is correct. And then you can see over here, option B is correct. So guys, if you see our guesses, see our guesses over here, C, D, A, then between C and D and then B, you can see at least two guesses are correct. At least two. And if I was lucky enough, 
then maybe I will get even the third guess correct. Even if my two guesses are correct, worst case scenario, out of the four questions, two into four, that's eight marks, and even if two options are wrong, no problem, minus two, that will give me six marks at least. And if I'm lucky enough, then maybe one more question right, so I'll get 12, minus one, that is 11 marks. That's a crazy amount of score. I can get 11 marks easily. There's a very good chance of getting 11 marks. And it's much better than getting zero marks, obviously. And if you're loving this trick, do not forget to smash the like button because trick number two is coming up on your screen now. So you can eliminate the extremely low or extremely high options. Generally, the examiner will try to hide the correct answer somewhere in the middle part, somewhere, you know, which is the average. It will not be generally the highest or the lowest values. He will try to confuse you between values which are very, very similar. So let's see how do you apply this trick. I don't care about what is written. No need of theory. We're just looking at the options now. Out of these four options, like you can see that 200 is the lowest value over here. And I can also see this is the highest value over here. So these two options should be discarded. It will be either this or it will be either this. You can make a choice up to you. Now in these four options, you can see that 505 is the lowest value and 990 is the highest value. So discard these two options. It will be either option A or option B. Make a calculated guess. It's up to you which one you want to go with. Now let's see question number three. 10 to the power 15, 10 to the power 14, 10 to the power 14, 10 to the power 12. So extreme options you can just eliminate. This is you can see the extremely low value and this is extremely high value. So it will be either this or it will be either this. Great. Now look at these options over here. Uh, I can see 280 is the highest value over here and I can see 70 is the lowest value. So discard these two options, either 140 or 100. Make a guess, it's up to you. Even when you're watching this video, you can make some guesses and see how many of them actually worked. So let's see what's the correct answer. Starting with question one, look at this, 250. This is 550. If you remember correctly, 250 was one of our guesses and 550 was also one of our guesses. And in the next question, just keep these numbers in mind. You will see, yes, option B is correct. And this is option A, that is also correct. You can see that we had just guessed it is either B or C or it is either A and B. You can see that it works. So even if two guesses are correct out of the four questions, well, two fours are again eight minus two again six. So at least six marks earlier you had got maybe around 11 marks. And now these six marks, my God, you got 17 marks out of nothing. 17 marks by solving eight questions, which you had no clue about. Isn't that amazing guys? These kind of tricks and tips, if you know, you can easily score better than just having to waste your time. But remember, you need to know the theory. You need to obviously study. You cannot guess the entire paper. And if you want to know more such tricks and you want to know more such tips, let me tell you, we have the Vedantu JE crash course for all of you, as well as the Vedantu's, the NEAT crash course live for all of you. It takes care of physics, chemistry, bio in case of NEAT and all your needs for physics, chemistry, maths is taken care of over here. It has everything that you need. The complete revision of 11th and 12th standard. The recorded sessions are also available after the live class in case you miss it. Or if you want to revise again and again, PDF with handwritten notes are available. Also, you get mock tests. Also, you get assignments for all the chapters for all the subjects. Also, there are hundreds of quizzes which are being covered in these classes. These are interactive classes. Also, there is in-class doubt support and also outside the class doubt support with test series, with tips and tricks sessions. These sessions with all the tricks that you're learning over here is the best combo for boosting your score in the last few weeks. Make sure that you are a part of this revolution. Don't miss out this chance because it's hardly priced at 8,100 rupees after you use my discount coupon code SHHPRO. The link is there in the description box for joining both J as well as the NEAT crash course. Click buy course. You would have already saved hundreds of rupees by applying my coupon code SHHPRO. You have multiple payment options right from Paytm, net banking, so many options out there. 
and the best part is this course is available for all of you till the last day of the exam you can watch the recordings unlimited times and you have all india level test series for all of you so that you know where you stand and apply all these tricks and see for yourself how it works it will be one crazy journey for all of you in the next few days i'm pretty sure and you guys are all nervous but trust me you are going to be in safe hands once you start following all the tricks the strategies which are not just given over here but also in the crash course so kick start your journey right now and stay tuned by hitting the subscribe button for more such short tricks surprises all the kinds of mock tests and all the things that you need for your preparation on this channel and yes if you love this do not forget to share as well as like this video it will mean a lot and let me know in the comment section how much you love this thank you very much this was captain stress and i'm signing off hasta la vista